Hi, Jeremy here, Modern Vitality. In today's video, mold illness or mycotoxin illness, how to go from inflamed and triggered and bed bound to ripping a phone book in half with your bare hands, okay? Like an animal. We're gonna tap into some strength that maybe you don't know you have. This is important. A lot of people will watch this kind of video and just take it as a metaphor. I want you to really do this, right? If you have a phone book, great, get one. Why is this important? You may be thinking you can't do it. Oh, I can't rip a phone book in half, right? I'm in pain. I'm exhausted. I'm, you know, I'm having like a mold hit. I don't feel good. Well, guess what? Today's the day where we're going to start to find out what's possible and where your strength actually is. You might be more powerful than you even think. And don't worry if you try and fail, right? That's just an exercise in persistence. We are the kind of people who don't just try once and fail and then give up and bop, 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 right? No, if you have to work at it, you practice. But I guarantee with practice, you can do this. You absolutely can do this. Just like with practice and the right instruction and the right steps, right? You can also heal your body. Healing from a complex chronic inflammatory condition, especially mold, right? It's very, very complex. Seems daunting, seems like just about impossible, right? Just like ripping this book in half with your bare hands. However, there's a technique, there's a strategy. When you understand the stages, you can move through in an organized way and you can make small steps that add up to a massive change. So let's start today with the phone book and then see what else is possible. All right, let's get started. You know, these things are rare nowadays. We don't get phone books too often. I was pretty excited when one came because I've been waiting to shoot this video for a while. I think the metaphor is really appropriate and the physicality of doing this. Again, I, I like you might have to practice, okay? That's normal. Sometimes you don't get things on the first try. But what we're going to look at is taking something that seems impossible and shattering that by proving to yourself that you can do it. Now, you may want to start with a smaller phone book, right? You can always do that. You can always rip a chunk of these these pages, you know, you can you can rip it here and you make a smaller little phone book. You can always try with something small. Get some practice in that way. Get get the hang of the technique, right? Get into a safe environment where you're starting to feel comfortable and confident and all that. And then work your way up to a, a big, thick brick like this. When you see people ripping phone books in half, it's a lot of times like a strong man feat, right? I'm not a big guy, you know? You don't have to be huge and full of muscles to do this if you know what you're doing. And it's the same thing with complex chronic inflammatory conditions. It's a huge feat. Some people get better. How are they doing this? Well, I can tell you, especially the people I work with, they're following a plan. They're taking apart something like this that seems overwhelming and we're taking it into tiny, 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 tiny pieces. This phone book is like the perfect metaphor. It's the perfect analogy for healing. And I, I literally want you to do this. So you, you, you're gonna wanna, I mean, I can't make you do this, obviously, right? This is a free will planet. You're an adult. I'm just providing a perspective. But if you don't physically try to do this, you will be missing out on a tangible piece of this learning, of this exercise. There is something about watching it happen. And a lot of people will just watch this video and go, oh, okay, yeah, interesting metaphor. Yeah, I get it. Don't be like that. Don't be the majority of people who will just watch it and think that's enough. Actually be the minority of people who decide, I want to feel that. Where's a phone book, right? <laughs> you know you got one around somewhere somewhere, right? Or call your neighbor. You know, somebody has one. Go get a phone book and, and do it. Get your hands in there. Get, get that tactile sense. You need to start to feel your own power. Our society, this is a bit of a tangent, I'll admit, but our society is so detached from a lot of things. You know, we, we push buttons to get things done, right? If you're hungry, push a button. You know, some food will arrive to your house. You know, there's so many things. We just swipe and push buttons and that's it. And, and we're losing some of our physical prowess, right? And, th and there's there's a very satisfying, very primal thing that your brain and your spirit needs in terms of interacting with the world, right? And even if you have joint pain or something like that, you know, obviously don't hurt yourself doing this, this activity. Start with a smaller chunk of a book. Start with just a few pages. That's fine, right? Don't hurt yourself. But within your capacity, within your capacity, give it a shot. And if you don't get it the first time, keep going, keep going, keep going, because we get good at what we practice. Are we practicing trying something and giving up? And that's the kind of person we start to tell ourselves we are. Or are we practicing trying something? Hmm, that didn't quite work. I'll try again. Oh, I'll try something a little bit different, right? Persistence. You need to have this. The qualities of people who get better from their illnesses, right? The, the mental traits, the spiritual traits. You can't be fragile. I give up. No. No. Not here, right? Not if you're on this channel. You're not a give up kind of person, obviously, right? Obviously. So 
Take that same skill set, apply it to the phone book. Take, take that same skill set, apply it to any other challenge you have, including complex chronic health conditions. So I'm going to show you how to do this because these things are tough books. This one's about 450 pages thick, right? And it's a tough book. And if I try to rip it in half, nothing's going to happen, right? Because I'm not physically strong enough to just muscle through this thing. However, with the right mindset, the right technique, the right steps, it's going to come apart almost on its own. There is an easy way. We can take big problems and make them easy for ourselves. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So as you'll notice, there's a bunch of pages here. And when they're all compressed together, this is very strong. It's very difficult to break, right? So what we have to do is actually take this thing stage by stage. And what that means is we have to develop a technique. So I'm going to hold the book with my thumbs like this, right? And I'm going to start to scrunch it together. And what I want to do is I want to get this V shape happening. You can see that. See that V, right? Now, the trick is I keep my pointer fingers pressing together, right? So I can keep it scrunched up. And then what I do is I let my thumbs spread out. And what you can see happening here, I'm going to try to get this very, very close. What you can see happening is I'm down to about one page, right? You see that? So instead of having the whole thing, I've split, right? I've split this and now I've got it down to there's like one page that I'm working on there. So once we get that, all I'm thinking about are my thumbs and I'm thinking about that first page. Okay. So we want to get some air between the pages. We want to let them breathe because once we start doing that, we've separated things out. We've isolated it to where we can now start to make a change. That's how you start setting this up. Now, in terms of actually breaking it, you don't want to try to pull it apart like this. You want to twist it like that. You want to separate the pages just like how you would rip a page, right? So I'm not doing, I'm not trying to just pull it apart. <laughs> it's not going to work. So you can see how I've got it set up. I'm isolating out these pages by my thumbs. I'm trying to take it one page at a time, right? And what's happening is I'm creating a wave of energy that's just going through one page at a time. And once you've got some progress here, you can just sh shred it, right? Because we started it with a technique where we only had to rip. All I really had to rip was this to get it going. But because I knew where to start and I knew what to do, it was this and then the next page and the next page and the next page all 450 of them, something that seemed insurmountable, right? And impossible, you know, trying to rip it. No way, right? No way. But if I can get it, set it up, I start isolating one page, right? One at a time and then go from there. Fantastic. You can totally do this. You can absolutely do this. Start with a smaller book if you need to. Like maybe you take a phone book like this and you just go, okay, I'll rip it down the spine, right? And then you'd only have this thick to work with and you can practice that it's pushing it together and then isolating that one page and then going from there right it's amazing this doesn't take a lot of power it takes organization it takes thought it takes follow-through it takes somebody stepping aside with you and showing you over their shoulder like i literally just did and saying i know this seems like a big problem here's how we take it apart Right. This, by the way, is what we do in our group, Modern Vitality Solutions and Support. If you're struggling with a complex chronic inflammatory condition, you don't have to do it alone. There's wonderful people. We're all hanging out together in the group. It's free to join. The link is in the description below this video. You've got people from all over the world in there. It's international, lovely people, very positive. They're all working through the stages. Stage one, two, three, four, right? Immune, digestive, neuroadrenal, blood circulation in order, just like Page one, page two, page three, page four, right? In order to take apart very, very complex chronic health conditions. And you can see in real time, right? Everybody's in there healing and, oh, it's great. We're getting wins. And then all, you know, as happens, there will be backslides, triggers, flare-ups, right? It always happens. And you can see what happens there too. You can see how this system is nimble and how we troubleshoot that. You can watch right over my shoulder when somebody comes in and says, hey, I've been feeling great. And then... You know, my kid brought home a cold or I got in a car accident or whatever it is and I got set back, I got flared up. And instead of panicking and spiraling and freaking out that they've lost all their progress, instead you can watch what happens as we troubleshoot that and get people right back on track. 
You can ask me anything in there about your case, right? I'm happy to share my perspective. We've got a vault full of interactive videos. You can learn a ton about yourself and where you're at, what you need to be doing next. It's a wonderful, wonderful place, great people. I'd encourage you to apply if this interests you, if you feel like there's resonance there, uh, come on in. You know, I'll see your application. If you look like a good fit for the group, I'll get you in as soon as I can. I keep it kind of small, kind of cozy because I like to know who's in there. So when I'm answering questions, I can remember who I'm talking to. But that also means sometimes there's a wait. We cap out at like one or 200 people max. So you might be in on the next monthly cohort or something like that. I hope it maybe takes a month, maybe two maximum. I try to get people in pretty quick. If you do the phone book challenge, right? Let us know in the group. When you come in the group, say, hey, I did the phone book thing. Send a picture, right? Let's see it. Don't be, don't be shy about your power. This is your power. You unlock your power because you have steps and strategy. I didn't rip this thing in half because I'm freakishly strong. I ripped it in half because I know how to take one thing at a time and in the right order. I didn't try to rip the front page and then the back page and then one in the middle, right? I'm not a magician, you know? You have to have it ordered, organized, just like your body. Your body wants to heal. There's an order to it. Once you learn that order, you can start intervening in your body in a way where all of a sudden you start getting a lot of your life back. And then the more progress you get, the easier it gets. It's fantastic. So yeah, share that in the group, right? If you wind up in the group, you join, you know, you apply, you get in there. We're, everybody would love to see it. Very supportive. We love wins like that. In the meantime, you might consider subscribing to this channel, like this video, right? Hit the buttons, tell the uh, algorithm what you want to see, you know, because otherwise you're just going to be scrolling and, and seeing whatever passive entertainment comes up. Instead, you can train YouTube to show you videos like this one. They're going to help you get your health back, get your life back, start tapping into some of that internal power. All right, rip a phone book up. It's good for you. <laughs> Let's get you feeling better. Cheers.